How's everybody doing? Uh, this is Eric Rutan from Haiti Eternal, and I'm here to uh, show you my 2008 Sprinter. And um, I bought this baby in uh, 2008, uh, looking for an upgrade from the 15 passenger or the cargo van with the trailer. Uh, basically, in 2003, we got in a van accident um, in a normal cargo van with a trailer, and. Uh, um, my bass player at the time was was um, driving the van and hit black ice, went off the road, hit a tree, and then the trailer swung around, hit the side of the van right where my head was. Um, so I was sleeping in the back. Uh, woke up after being knocked out with my face in the windshield and uh, a chip vertebrae in my sixth vertebrae. Uh, it took me months to get back, and after that, I swore that uh, I wanted to figure out a better way and a safer way to transport us in more style, comfort, and um, safety than a van and a trailer. And as you know, many vans have been in accidents with the trailers. All right. Um, well, this is the inside of the van. Um, this seat right here where I'm sitting, I spend a lot of time here. Uh, I, most everyone knows that I'm the nighttime driver. I'm the guy that drives in the snow, the rain, in the cities so I guess that pretty much covers a lot of it uh, JJ my bass player normally drives in the morning uh, because he's an early bird and now KSP our merch guy drives in the morning um, so that's all the drivers we have I drive every night JJ usually drives every morning and now KSP is the relief driver in the I morning. mean usually on the long drives two things that are mandatory one is some tunes you know cranking some tunes the other is the curry maker <laughs> This is, this is life pretty much, you know, the coffee maker helps. Uh, we have the inverter. I have two batteries that run it as well, so there's constantly current to uh, protect the alternator. Um, but the Keurig maker, you know, we can't have a coffee maker in here. It would make a mess, but, you know, when you can just take, you know, K-cup and bam and put it in, and that, that certainly helps uh, those late-night drives. Also pretty cool in the morning, you know, you wake up, you need a coffee. Uh, the good thing about the Sprinter is it's tall, so when you wake up, you can stand and stretch or whatever. Um, these are my good friend Christian Easley, who's in the Air Force, uh, just uh, just retired after 20, putting 20 years in. Um, he brought he brought these back uh, from his travels overseas and um, from Iraq and Afghanistan, so I keep them here for good luck. And uh, knock on wood, we have had no accidents or problems and. Uh, yeah, this is, I spent a lot of time here, uh, but as you can see, the windshield's huge, so I always like to say it's like HD driving, you know, uh, really clear, put in cruise control, kick back, crank the tunes, usually have a co-pilot at night, just to help keep everything safe and awake. On this, uh, been listening to a lot of suffocation lately, uh, Pierce from Within, Effigy the Forgotten, um, just bought Master of Puppets for like the 87th time uh, on CD. And so we've been listening to a lot of Master of Puppets, Ride the Lighting, Slayer. So this is the sleeping quarters. So as you can see, um, me and my old partner, the studio, built these bunks. Um, so then that way we could accommodate five people sleeping and then have the gear in the back without the trailer. It started with just the three bunks, and then uh, and then we built these two bunks. Um, so this is, serves as sometimes we're only four guys, a sound guy in the band, but sometimes we, you know most of the time we bring a merch guy. So it's kind of a sleeping bench area. Um, this is my bunk, the middle bunk. I get the middle bunk. The uh, the biggest bunk is the bottom one, obviously. So Hannah sleeps in that. Um, I like the middle bunk because I can go in and out a lot and store all my crap in there. I got like a Ikea memory foam mattress in there, so I sleep pretty good. I have to sleep corner to corner to, to kind of almost stretch out, but I sleep pretty good in there. But as you can see, you know, you can stand in it, stretch. I got my, you know, my little rolling cube for when I'm not driving, which is not that often, uh, but you know, I like to jam in here. And, Basically, put in the hooks, you know, for backpacks and things like that, and you know, jackets and, and stuff. This is the old stinky stage shoe case, because um, anyone knows that tours shoes freaking stink. So we 
this is where we store all the shoes as well as a <laughs> shoe, <laughs> shoe freshener that oh, sometimes we you know we try to get deli meat and stuff and um, you know things for breakfast and make sandwiches just to cut corners on, on money um, drinks water juice stuff like that um, sometimes when we're not headlining we'll bring actually like stuff to cook uh, but when we're headlining we got to be there the earliest we're there out of there the latest so we don't bring that on the headlining runs but we're opening we'll bring like some propane tanks with um, you know stuff they you know sous chefs use so we can cook up we'll cook up eggs in the morning you know make dinner it's, it's not perfect obviously you know it's it's not a tour bus but um, the things about it like I said is one it's paid uh, which I'm very happy about it's pretty comfy for five guys and um, everybody gets a place to lay down and has a place to store all their stuff and uh, yeah it does well and I think we did a pretty good job of building now and my partner Gino Adore used to be my partner at the studio um, for many years and a good friend of mine uh, kind of designed it and built it and came out good and then we built the wall there steel reinforced crossbars to protect from gear in case of an accident um, and I'll show you the back where we store all the gear it's empty now obviously all our gears inside um, but yeah this is where we store all the gear which as you can see there's plenty of room if we had if we had built on this side of the wheel well we wouldn't have been able to it wouldn't accommodate everything but we have plenty of space in here we've never even got close to being full um, so like I said, we got the wall there with the steel reinforced crossbars welded in for safety. And then now uh, this is something I put in. Um, put steel welded into the window so nobody could smash out and rob us. Like as all you bands know, a lot of bands getting robbed with the 15 pastors with the windows and you know passports, computers, stuff like that. We tend to be safe. Um, this helps our safety. If we're, um, if we're parking overnight, back this up to a wall. You're not getting through all that. It obviously help from somebody if they want to smash the window by all means, break your hand. It's all it's okay. But they're not getting in. So I know um, I'm the pack master. I'm the guy that has, you know, like the I'm like the you know, there's a key master from Matrix, I'm the pack master of the van. I know I'm the guy that's usually in there. We figured it out really well. You know, three cabinets go in first, then the amps, and it's a certain pack and it's been working that way for many. It took a little while to figure out the best pack. But uh, now we've got it down to a T. So almost all the heavy stuff is on that side of the wheel well or over. And then the lighter stuff is towards the end for safety. Um, actually dries fantastic. With the more weight in there, the, the more smoother it is. Um, but uh, this is basically my home away from home on the road. You know, so it's does good gas mileage, drives great, pretty comfortable. Um, it's a good middle ground. Than, than the 50 passenger or the cargo for sure.